I'm Admiral Lord West of Spithead, and uh, I was uh, the government security minister for three years from 2007 to 2010. And before that, I was first Sea Lord and uh, Chief of Defence Intelligence. I became aware back in about 2017 or 20 uh, that uh, the plan, I was told the plan was to install more CCTVs in uh, Port Cullis House and other parts of the parliamentary estate. Um, and I looked into this and it and it became clear that actually they were going to use Hikvision cameras. And I was very concerned uh, about using cameras from, uh, the, from effectively from a Chinese company um, because with the forthcoming Internet of Things and 5G, um, these things become enabled and these cameras can do all sorts of things. They are actually able to record data. Yes, they're filming things. They can zoom in and collect a, a number that's being dialed on a phone. They can look at passwords. They, they can record and hold that recording. They can do facial recognition. Um, and they're connected in all sorts of ways that one's never quite sure about once 5G is enabled. And it seemed to me extremely worrying if we were going to do this. And so I asked a series of questions um, my series of questions, I think, um, made people think, gosh, this probably isn't a very good thing to do. Um, and as far as I was aware, I was, I was told by a number of people, although pinning down who exactly is responsible, they said we're no longer going to use the Hickvision across the parliamentary estate. Um, well, because of the CCTV incident with the uh, last um, uh, health secretary, it suddenly made me think, gosh, I know, that, I know that wasn't in the parliamentary estate, it was in, a, in another building, but it made me just think again about this issue. And so I asked the question in the House, um, I asked the question in the House, um, are any of these cameras still actually fitted in, uh, in, in the parliamentary estate? The, the answer straight away from the government, under, and I understand that, was, well, actually, this is the responsibility of the of the Black Rod and the Speaker and basically parliamentary people. But I think that was a bit of a cop-out from them because it's such an important issue. Um, and I'd have liked to have had a clear statement from somebody saying, no, there are none there. Um, and I'd like to know what are there because there are hundreds of cameras across the parliamentary estate. And I'm not sure quite of the providence of them all and exactly how they're linked and exactly will they be enabled when 5G comes into operation in the next few years. Um, so I think all of these things are of concern. I think the thing is, any any uh, Chinese firm we know effectively can be told exactly what to do by the Chinese Communist Party. Um, and we've had the whole business with Huawei. We understood there was a concern there, um, but it was decided back in about 2009 that we could um, moderate that concern by setting up a an organization in this country at Banbury that monitored all of the things with, with our people involved in that and with GCHQ keeping a very close eye on it. Uh, and the feeling was at that stage that we could uh, ameliorate the risk to a level that was acceptable. Um, now, actually the Intelligence and Security Committee some seven years ago when they looked at all this with and they had access to all of the intelligence data said, well, actually we don't think this is something that can be um, uh, ameliorated. You know, we think this is a risk and we need to do something about this. They said that then. Subsequent to uh, the decision that we were going to set up Banbury, do that work with them, um, it became clear as things changed that the certainty of ensuring there was no risk was disappearing. And GCHQ had to come out and say about three years ago, two, two and a half, three years ago, um, we no longer can be sure um, that, there, that we can manage the risk that there is using this Chinese equipment, which at the end of the day have control from China and are controlled by the Chinese government. The Chinese government can control the Huawei if they want to, whether they do all the time or not, that's debatable, but they can if they want to. And when the Americans finally said, we are no longer going to let them use our chips in their equipment, it became quite clear that actually we couldn't trust that equipment at all. I mean, that decision meant there was no way we could trust the Huawei equipment to be secure for our systems and to do the 5G. So that, that was a final nail in the coffin, effectively. 
I, I think it's highly unlikely that that camera is a hip vision camera. Um, and I, I mean, I, 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 I am not privy to the information about uh, exactly what they have fitted there. Um, there have been mixed messages. One saying that, yes, there was a security camera, camera fitted, which was meant to be pointing at the balcony so to see if anyone came in. Um, but then other people saying, well, you, know, you didn't even know there was something fitted there. So it's not at all clear to me. And we need to wait for, presumably someone's going to look at it in detail and see what the uh, situation is. It, it is extraordinary to have any camera in not just a Secretary of State's office, but any important uh, uh, minister or, or indeed civil servants or military officer's office. Um, and indeed, there's a privacy issue, even if it's in your own office. Um, just for someone to put a camera in there without you knowing, effectively, uh, is against the law. Um, and so I'm, I'm very surprised by it. But I don't think it's a hit vision one. And I don't, I think it would be a real conspiracy theory to say the Chinese were involved in this, because I don't believe they were. Um, it's the big broader issue with hit vision, um, particularly when it becomes enabled by 5G, when these things become enabled, where it does give a real potential for um, for espionage on a, on, a grand, on a very grand scale. Well, the, 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 the NSI, there's an NSI bill that's just gone through, and the, the, which um, is looking at, uh, which means that companies trying to be taken over by companies outside of the UK, if it's something to do with security, can't do it. And then the second stage is the telecoms bill, which is going through at the moment. In the telecoms bill, again, they're looking at the involvement of um, other uh, nations in our telecommunications infrastructure. And I think the CCTV should maybe be included in that, in that, although it's not telecommunications, because of the Internet of Things and 5G, in a funny sort of way, it does become that because it's linked and data can be passed from it. Um, and indeed, if you're doing espionage, you know, a good way of doing it is to link into the CCTV systems and get sound, audio, pictures, and you can get those from someone else's by, you know, by using agents, people going in in a sneaky way, plugging stuff in. You can get that data. So it means if, you, if you've got it there, then it, it, it can be used. And, uh, and I think that needs to be looked at more broadly. Are we happy to allow this vast coverage um, of spaces where, you know, there is, there is a... There is a security aspect, even in council offices, you know, there is a security aspect. If all that data is going to be available and be used, uh, we see within China, you know, they use facial recognition and they use this information on a grand scale to control their population. Um, and, you know, when one looks at the fact that hip vision um, are, are involved with uh, the Chinese state in terms of the and monitoring the Ouija's and monitoring their population, that is of real concern. And I think we need to look at it very carefully.